Okay guys, looks like breaking is going to be in the Olympics. Paris 2024. Is it good or bad for the culture? Today we're going to address this issue at the Knowledge Drop by bboydojo.com. Let's go. A lot of talk in the scene to support and go against breaking in the Olympics. Is it a sport? Can it be included if it's not? Will it provide more opportunities for the next generation? Or will it destroy breaking as we know it? Do judges systems work? Or do they change the way people break in order to please the system? Let's take a look at this from this perspective. The advantages versus the disadvantages. The pros and cons of breaking in the Olympics. And just so you know, I'm an independent b-boy. I got no strings attached. I'm my own boss. So let's go. The pros. Bigger audiences than ever. With a platform this size, Breaking is going to reach millions of new eyes that has never seen what we do before. This will make Breaking way bigger than before. Tons of new people in the scene, uh, bigger battles, possibly a higher level, bigger classes, uh, more opportunities in general. Getting hip hop and Breaking scene organized. To pull it off with Breaking in the Olympics, the scene has to work together. This has never happened on this scale before. For the future, it's about time to make it happen too. To get the promoters, get the OGs and get the professionals working together for the next generation. Any changes in the future in the scene, this, this has to be done. So it's a good time to make it happen. Opportunities that this will provide. Sponsorship will be taken to another level. Coaching is needed like never before. Price money most likely will go up. Brands from within our culture will have a bigger platform as well. A career as a b-boy or b-girl can be a choice for the next generation. Whereas for our generation it was there for only a few lucky ones. Governments will back us up. Win gold in any discipline in the Olympics. And your skills and achievements will be recognized by your government. With my experience we've always been left out or we fell in the middle. The culture side didn't accept, accept us. Whereas we didn't agree to be a sport either. Finally the beauty of what we do will be recognized. Judging will be taken serious and to another level. I've judged the biggest battles in the world and I do agree with a platform that size we need a proper system. Tons of hours and work have been put in in order to make it the best possible. The basic round for round system works perfect for underground jams but on that kind of level it's time to step our game up. Chance to fix the terminology for good. There's no better chance to get rid of that old stubborn media made breakdance term that everybody hates. Use breaking as the main term and call us b-boys and b-girls. Let's make that change. Moving on to the cons, the disadvantages. One step further away from the original feel of the dance. Things develop and the only thing certain in life is change. When breaking is lifted on the stage and put into a competition format, that's already a step away from the original party vibe and the call of battles in the circles. So in this way, it's not a no. We already have a split scene between the underground and the mainstream. But this might be the biggest step this far. So it's that, that way it's extremely important that the right people in the scene are involved in order to make the right decisions. To have the core influence on how breaking culture is presented into the world. Have the best DJs involved. Make sure that the music serves the culture properly. Make sure the environment fits what we do so it's not presented on a football field or whatever. Have the best judges to take care that all the aspects of the dance are represented, not just the dynamics. And I don't really doubt it to be honest. I don't see an option where the right and the responsible people wouldn't be in charge. This is too big to mess up. Art labeled on the sport. The Olympics committee, they do recognize our status as sort of their typical definition of sports. But they do need new urban cool things outside of their regular umbrella of disciplines in order to keep them relevant and attractive to the youth. In short, they need us. I don't see what we do as a sport. I see myself as a hip hop artist expressing my creative craft. So I hope that we won't be labeled on the sports completely in the future, but can be seen as a competitive art despite of being in the Olympic games. Organizations outside of hip hop having a power and say on what we do. With this one, we need to be extra careful. Coming back to having the right people in charge of the movement from within the scene, like I said before. Overall, I'm definitely supporting breaking in the Olympics. I'm all in for the, for the opportunities for the next generation. I'm sure if this was possible when I started breaking, I would have trained even harder in the beginning. 
it's pretty amazing to think about having having a support, having a recognition, and maybe even a slight understanding of what you do with the people around you. That's pretty crazy comparing to having to train in the basements and <laughs> go against all odds like like we did. I'm happy for the new opportunities for the next generation. The discussion against is mostly based on fear. Fear of things changing too much. Fear of things not going right for the culture. I got a strong belief that the underground will live on. The mainstream going bigger won't affect how the underground will ce celebrate the culture in the future either. Besides maybe having a couple more topics in, over beers in the after parties. So as a conclusion, I'm excited to see breaking in the Olympics. Paris 2024, let's go. Let me know what you think on the topic by commenting below. This is Fogel signing out with the knowledge drop. Peace.